You driving? Some Plan Bs are smarter than others. If you're drinking, don't drive. RBT means you need a Plan B. Authorised by New South Wales Government, Sydney. Hi, it's Trent Copeland here from the Speed Blitz Blues. Uh, welcome to the Steve Wall Metal Night here at Dalton House. Uh, I'll be chatting tonight with a few of the illustrious stars of the New South Wales Blues and the Breakers as they come in. So I'm here with the man we dubbed the Don this year, Scooter Scott Henry, for those who don't know. We call him the Don because he scored a mountain of runs this year. How are you, mate? Welcome to the Steve Wall Medal. I'm well, mate. How are you? Yeah, going well, going well. Looking sharp as always. The black suit, the black tie, the white shirt. Changed it up this year? Well, that's what it said on the invite, mate, so I didn't want to go too far out of that. But unlike yourself, you know, you kind of go against the grain where I'm, I'm pretty, you know, follow the rules. And <laughs> Straight everything. down the line and stuff, yeah. yeah. Just thought I'd go the blue, nice touch with the blue night, you know, blue carpet, blue team, blue shirt, Thanks. all works together. Uh, Scooter, what else has been happening outside the world of cricket now that you've finished? Um, not a lot, actually. Um, last couple of weeks. Watching netball with you um, the other night, but um, other than that, mate, taking it easy. It's been a long season, as everyone knows, so um, yeah, taking a bit of downtime before I uh, head over England for a few months. Yeah, nice one, nice one. And wh who's your pick tonight for the Steve Ball medal? Um, I think it might be Maui or O'Keefe, I think, is my tip. Maui or O'Keefe, two different ones. Yeah, we've heard a bit of Brad Haddon. Oh, we've heard it here first. He's confident, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Garinda, one of our self-proclaimed best dressed for the night. Uh, looking sharp as always mate, the, the guys are uh, no doubt expecting you to have some bling on. What, who are you dressed by and the bling, where's it come from? Um, suits its head back, another one of uh, Brett Lee's, it's pretty, I love it, I like it. Um, jewellery, we'll start off with the bracelet, a ring, a watch, an <laughs> earring and a necklace, that's about it. Um, pretty much from overseas man. Nice work and you had a great start to your New South Wales career this year in the Ryobis and um, in the Shield stuff when you got your chance. Uh, exciting times, your name's been bandied, bandied about um, in Ashes talk. How does that sit with you? You know, How have you enjoyed your time with the New South Wales squad? Yeah, it's been uh, great to play, I think it's four Ryobi Cups with yourself and the other teammates and um, the two Shield games. So yeah, I was very happy to get out there, get the baggy blue and then bonus was getting a few wickets. And um, on that, just talk, uh, I haven't really paid much attention to it, man. <laughs> oh, of course you haven't. Been too busy rapping at home, just like you do on the cricket field. So I'm here with a great man, Dougie Bollinger. Dougie, looking sharp as always, mate. You're Are right. you expecting a good night tonight? Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, me too, me too. Uh, who's your pick tonight for the Steve Ball medal? Uh, probably myself. Yeah. Well, oh geez, no! You're or, or, Oregon yourself, Oregon you. So oh, yeah. you or probably had Zorikin. I don't know. Nice, yeah. Good Has anyone said me yet? Uh, I said you earlier, mate. Yeah, I've got you back the whole way, mate. The whole no, way. Oregon had it all yourself, mate. Oregon. Very good. Uh, congratulations on the newborn. Thanks, mate. All going well there. Fantastic. He's a good boy and he loves his mum. <laughs> Very good. Doesn't love his dad. Nah, not really. <laughs> And you left lovely Tegan at home tonight. Is, yeah, I've got my other day. Better sort my, tonight. My, uh, some would say. My red hair. That's harsh. That's harsh. That's harsh. <laughs> how are you, Frank? Mate, how are you? Going well. Uh, how's the body treating you? Yeah, good now that I've uh, stopped playing, enjoying it. Yeah, congratulations on your career, mate. Fantastic effort, and uh, I'm sure Sydney Grey Cricket won't be the same without you. <laughs> what have you got planned now that you're finished? Uh, start a golf season now. <laughs> <laughs> golf season, the way we all want to be. Exactly. So I'm here with Sean Abbott and his lovely girlfriend Bree. Uh, welcome to the Steve Wall Medal. Sean, comb over as always, looking sharp. Who are you dressed by tonight? Uh, Connor, I just went for the camo, something simple yet effective, mate. <laughs> <laughs> as always. And Bree, yourself? Cool guy. Very good, looking smashing as always. Uh, Sabba, your, uh, your year, how did it pan out for you? Were you happy with how it went? And who do you think is your prediction for the Steve Wall medal? Uh, a lot more consistent in the last couple of years, so I'm pretty happy with the way it went. Um, obviously would like to play more games, but the way we finished the one day season when I was in the side, was I was pretty happy with that and pretty disappointed. We missed out in the Shield final by uh, waiting for other results, but pretty happy with the way the season went. Uh, my prediction for the Steve Wall medal, I'd have to say, Hads. All right, so we're here with the great man, the, na the name of the night, Steve War. How are you, mate? Very good, thank you. That's the way. Uh, mate, your pick for the night? Tell you the truth, I'm not really sure, but I think Steve O'Keefe had a pretty good year. Uh, Brad Haddon is a fantastic cricketer, so uh, look, I think it's a pretty open field this year, but uh, I'm sure whoever wins will be a worthy winner. Yeah, as they always are. Yep. And uh, I've been talking to a few of the boys tonight about their off-season plans. A few of the boys are going over playing county cricket, a few going to the IPL. 
a lot of questions about how you'd fare if you were still playing and uh, I suppose in the IPL auction you see, you see all these numbers bandied about, what do you reckon you'd get these days? Oh, there'd be a couple of noughts on the end, but I'm not sure whether there'd be a num number in front of it, that's all. Um, oh, look, I think it'll go OK. I could probably buy four overs for 50 runs, and that's generally that does OK. So um, That's what I do, mate. Yeah, there you go. Um, oh, look, I've had a couple of uh, charity games in the last couple of years and got a few runs, but I haven't pulled up well, so it'd be probably a short-term proposition. Yeah, nice one. And I know your young fellow is going pretty well with his cricket. How's, how do you find the difference between when you were a captain and a player to now having to try and be a coach in the backyard? Does he listen to you? Uh, not a, not as much probably as uh, the players that were under me when I was the Australian captain. But uh, look, I think in his own way he does listen to me. But it always takes someone else to say the same thing before they actually put it in the, in the plan. But look, he's really keen and he, he reminds me a lot of himself at that age. But there's a lot of good talent at cricketers, I guess, for him. it's At this stage, it's about enjoying the game. If he wants to take it more seriously, then later on he can make that decision. So. It's just started to rain here. Maybe it is the great man, the big tree bringing down the rain, Josh Hazelwood and his lovely girlfriend Sharina. How are you guys? Good mate, how are you going? Yeah, yeah, you're going well, yeah. Do you want to let your girlfriend speak or? <laughs> how are you Sharina? Alright Josh, I'm very well, thank you. That's the way. Uh, who's your pick tonight? Um, Steve Wall Medal. Apart from yourself, uh, I'd have to say probably Brad Hutton or, or maybe Moses on Riggs, but uh, yeah, they're pretty close I reckon. Yeah, very good. And who are you wearing tonight Sharina? Put me on the spot, I'm not too sure. Ah, oh, good one, good one. Uh, I think it's a Kmart number. <laughs> Five dollar rack, no worries, no worries. Okay, so I'm here with some of the New South Wales Lend Lease Breakers tonight. Uh, girls looking lovely as always. Likewise. Uh, thank you. Uh, World Cup campaign, it was really successful. You opened the batting over there. A lot of the boys back here watching on TV and we're really excited about that. How was it to be there, um, to be the West Indies and I suppose cap off a real campaign where you could celebrate and I suppose just take it all in? Yeah, it was awesome to be a part of. I think any sort of World Cup or, or firstly any game you can play for your country is pretty special but to get there and play in a World Cup is, is great and uh, the girls played really well in some tough conditions at, at times and yeah, as you said, it was just a, a great thrill to, to win such a, a big tournament. Very good. And predictions for the night for the Breakers Player of the Year and the Steve Waugh Medal? Um, I think Alex Blackwell for sure for the Belinda Clark. Yeah. Uh, Steve Waugh. Um, yeah, throw my hat behind Brad Haddon. Okay, so I'm here with last year's best dressed winner, Nick Maddinson. How are you tonight, mate? I'm alright. You know, the rain, um, probably not ideal tonight, but it's messing up the hair a little bit, but just got out of there quite quick, so um, I'm good to go. Yeah, not ideal for the women or young Maddinson tonight the brain. Uh, mate, again you've turned it on, shiny shoes, schmick little suit there, the bow tie and the pocket square a nice addition. Talk me through it. Uh, I was a little bit nervous yesterday, you know, I was uh, I always like to pride myself on being a little bit different and I was a little bit disappointed that I was going to go black and white for tonight um, until Moses come along and sort of pointed me in the right direction and got me a nice little shirt tie combo and you know I'm I thought I'd just run with a little bit, uh, the little polka dots there on the pocket square just to be a little bit out there. Nice one. Young Moses, straight off the plane from India and already thinking about his mates. Isn't he a good man? Uh, predictions for tonight, mate? Uh, I think yourself and Brad Haddon are going to be up there. Um, I think Rinder Sandu could pose a bit of a threat there. You know, the youngster started very well, although he's only probably a year younger than me. I can't call him that. But um, <laughs> year younger than you, but he's already called himself the best dressed tonight. Competition for you. I'll have, to go and, I'll have to go and find him. And, um, you got him covered, mate. Don't worry. No worries. <laughs> Too many gold chains. <laughs> exactly right. So I'm here with the superstar couple of the Steve Waugh medal night, Alyssa Healy and Mitch Stark. How are you guys? Doing well, Trent. How are you? Going well, going well. Looking sharp tonight. Who are you dressed by? Um, good question. Good question. <laughs> You're not the first person that hasn't known. You, Starky, you'd know. Uh, yeah, I'd know. No, it's just a nice, nice suit that I've had for, for a while. <laughs> Very good, mate. Uh, Talk me through the India tour, how did you enjoy it? I know the results probably didn't go your way, um, but I can tell you after a Shield victory that we had at the SCG, we were sitting camped in front of the uh, SCG Change Rooms TV when you were on a, a score of 99, and uh, you managed to nick one of the keeper, but the boys were all stoked for you, and how was that feeling? Yeah, it was a tough tour, obviously. Um, results didn't go away, but uh, lots of lessons learned, and I think that's the main thing, as long as we, we learn from it and get better. Um, 
that's the, it's the good that can come out of the tour. So, um, in terms of 99, I've had a few sleepless nights after that. <laughs> should have done this, should have done that. Could have got one here, but um, you know, just nice to get that far and been back watching you score a truck later run. So I thought I might have to pull my weight. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to bat in front of me or not. But uh, <laughs> well, well, no, you're kidding, mate. 99 in Test cricket is a bit better than my stuff. Uh, and for those who don't know, Starkey's in a boot here tonight. Um, mate, how's the ankle op gone and um, when are you looking to be back? It's gone very well. Uh, needed to be done. There was more wrong with it than we thought. So, uh, been putting it off, but happy to be done. And the recovery's going on well. Unfortunately, the boot tonight won't be uh, out on the dance floor too much, I don't he think. Will. <laughs> <laughs> he will be, he will be. And Alyssa, the, uh, the Breakers this year had an outstanding year. The T20 win, obviously a highlight. Talk me through that. Yeah, look, it was obviously really exciting. We've been building to get the double um, ever since it was introduced into our competition. So, obviously, Victoria pipped us the last three years. So, to be finally able to win that elusive T20 title and obviously take out the WNCL as well was, um, you know, what we've been looking forward to doing. And we obviously did it this year. So, it's exciting. So, we've, uh, being Easter time, we've actually run into a special guest here today. The Easter Bunny, how are you, mate? Good, day. Yeah, going well, going well. Uh, what have you got for us here tonight? You made your journey down to the Dalton House to see the best of the best of the New South Wales cricketers. What have you got for us apart from Easter eggs tonight? Uh, not much actually. <laughs> not much. Bit hot you said before? Yeah, it's pretty hot under There's here. a bit of water down there. Do you want to do a jump? Oh, I'd rather do that than be up here. <laughs> Don't think he's too happy about being here. So what have you got for us tonight? A few Easter eggs? Uh, some lint chocolate. Some really lint see. chocolate. You can't see? No. <laughs> I'm glad you're giving out some of the best then. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us tonight, mate. Have a good night.